Hey guys, welcome back to Josie Mae's Meals. Tonight's menu, we're going to have some chicken, some rainbow chard, and then right over here, I'm boiling some little yellow potatoes. Very simple dinner, one of my favorite dishes. And we're going to get started by preparing our chard to get into our boiling water. I'm excited to get started with this chard. So what I do, and you could do it anyways, I roll up pretty tight and I just start cutting however way you want it. And that's all I do. I already washed my leaves and checked every single piece. I like to make sure there's no little bugs or dirt on it because this is coming straight from the farm, uh, not too far from me. And I love getting my chart from them because I absolutely love to see it pulled straight from the ground and ready to cook. I need to learn how to plant this myself though, I really do. And these are good to eat too. You could chop these up and um, they're very tasty as well. Today though, we're only going with the leaves, so I'm going to put those off to the side. And then once I just do that chop, I'll just do one again across it. Not one, but just right across it. Alright, that's good. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to go straight into my uh, water over here. Now you want to take a quick look at how much water I got in there. Not much at all. Just enough to pretty much steam it. Um, because I don't really want to boil it. You can steam if you want, but the way I'm going to cook these, that's enough water. So I have a few smaller pieces here. If you've never tried chard, you really should. It has a great taste. It's not bitter. It's not too um, harsh of a taste at all. It tastes great. I actually even prefer it over um, spinach. Okay. Now, the what I want to get cut up next is my onion for it. And the onion I'm using is red onion. And this is my red onion right here. Go ahead and get that top cut off. And let's see, how much do I want to use? Let's go with less than half. And I'm going to take off that outer part. Just because, again, I got this straight from the farm. And I just feel better about pulling off that outer one. You don't have to. If you feel good about using it, then use it. That's just my choice. And I'm just going to do one straight across here because I like the texture of onion. If you don't like it as much as me, cut it smaller. Straight in there. Oh, that onion smells so good. Garlic. So, your garlic I always keep two kinds of garlic in the house, the whole garlic and jarred. I like to use them both. But for this, I want the whole garlic because I'm not chopping it. All I'm going to do is peel it, smash it, and stick it in there. Oh, that garlic smells good too. This one is not from the farm. However, they did have fresh garlic there. Next time I'll buy the garlic, but I knew I had a, a lot of garlic at home already. And again, if you watch any of my videos, you know I use garlic quite a bit, so I try to never run out of it at home. All right, three cloves is good. I'm just gonna smash them. That's it, straight into my pot. Okay, so the other item I wanna add in here, let me see if I can set you down properly right here without, sh I'm shaking a 
quite a bit. Sorry, guys. All right, right there is just some bouillon. About a teaspoon. Oh, that teaspoon pretty much hit that in there. All right. Sometimes I add a bay leaf in here. I'm not going to add the bay leaf in here today. This is how we're going to go ahead and cook it down. And we're going to get started with our other items. Quick check on my potatoes. I want to show you something I like to do. I like to puncture my potatoes when they're just about they're almost done. Not cut them, but just puncture them. There you go. You can add salt at this time if you want to, but that bouillon gives it really good flavor. And I just let those potatoes boil in that bouillon. And then when I drain them off, I put just a tad bit of butter on it, and they're perfect. So I decided to do two kinds of chicken. This one is going to be a stew chicken, just a small dish. So I'm browning a couple of legs that I, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I did cut some slits into the chicken. <laughs> and then over here I'm getting the oil going because we're going to do some fried chicken on that side. But for the stewed chicken, I have some cut up veggies, green bell pepper, onion, and again my uh, garlic. That's going to go right into that chicken. And then the seasoning for that chicken is going to be some onion salt. And I use this seasoning. This one is salt free, it's just herbs. I'm going to let that brown for just a little bit, then we'll add some water to it and some um, bouillon. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and fry our chicken and I decided to do something different. We're going to see how this turns out. My chicken, I'm first marinating in mojo creole, criollo. I swore I can never pronounce that word, but that's what we're using. It's basically citrus based with some spices. So I'm going ahead and marinate that. Our flour is here, but to our flour, I'm going to add a little semolina for texture. If you have cornmeal, use cornmeal. I thought I had it, I don't, so I'm using some semolina. What I love about semolina is how versatile it is. I'm going to add some spices into our flour. And I'm adding just the ones I like. If you're making your own chicken, use whatever you like. I really love Creole seasoning for fried chicken. I'm going to uh, put in a good amount of that in here. And I just eye it. Yeah, that looks good. I'm also adding in that onion salt in here and my herbs and the herbs I want to put a good amount of the herb in there all right I'm trying to keep an eye on my other chicken as well and it looks like it's ready for the water so before I start my fried chicken. Let's go ahead and add that water into my stewed chicken. All 
And you're probably wondering why I'm doing two different kinds of chicken. There's just um, two different tastes in the house. And I like to, I have enough chicken to do both, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is going to be experimental, so if it doesn't turn out good, we have that other chicken that I know is. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a shot. All right, into our flour. And our um, oil is ready. I did check it. Shake that off. And right into our oil. So, I always start my oil high. When I cut it ready to cook, I cut it down a couple of um, notches. A couple of notches. All right, let's get the other one in there. I'm really curious to see how this turns out, guys. I won't lie to you. If it's bad, I'll let you know. If it's good, I'll let you know. <laughs> I couldn't decide how I wanted to do the chicken tonight. I just knew I wanted chicken. And I wanted to try something different. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get, do a few more and get those in there, and we'll be back. Let's take a look at our fried chicken. All right, it's starting to brown. Looking good. Our potatoes are done. I just turned those off. Let those sit in there until we're ready to serve. Same with our greens. Those are done. If you can see it through all that. There we go. And this is the stewed chicken. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. All right. We're just waiting on you, fried chicken. Come on now. I'm hungry. Alright, so I decided I'm going to add tomato to my stewed chicken. And I'm just using canned. If I was using fresh, I would definitely put it in sooner. I'm not too worried about now, because I still need to simmer this down for a while. I'm going to leave it uncovered so that the sauce can tighten up. I'm going to go ahead and add more tomato to that. i just put it in. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in. Alright, perfect. I'm going to leave it uncovered. I'm going to let that stew for a while. Alright guys, the chicken is ready to come out. Drying off that oil. I need to try it. All right, I'm gonna pull out the other pieces. I get my last two in there, and we'll be back. Alright guys, here's the end product. We have our greens, our boiled potatoes, and our fried chicken. Let's give the chicken a try. So I came back over to this one to the plate for my son, so I'm going to try this one. Mmm. I'm doing the happy dance, guys. It's juicy. It's flavorful. It's crunchy. Try this recipe, guys. You'll love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.
But, you guys, I almost forgot to show you the stewed chicken. It is done. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys, it's time for dinner, so have a good one.